This is how to change the orientation from standard to parallel to pipeline on a Series 92 actuator. Start off by taking out the bolts. The flat part will be on the bottom of the seal. It also has a plastic spacer underneath it. You have to back out the end stop set screws in order to get enough clearance to bring the racks out all the way. So you loosen the end stop nuts and then you can back them out. Turn the pinion until it disengages, and then you can pull out the racks. And you might also need a hammer to free the pinion from the center. It has a cam that sits on top. And the single timing mark. Okay, the cam also has its own timing mark with a single dot. Okay, so this is what we're going for. We're changing it to in the closed position. This will now be in line with the body of the actuator. And then this would stop clockwise to close. And then counterclockwise, it would hit the opposite end stop and look like that. With the indicator perpendicular to the body of the actuator. There's a spacer here that fits into the top of the actuator body. All of the other seals should stay on the pinion. closed. And that would be open. Open, clockwise, closed. Closed. Open. Okay. Once we've got the pinion back in there, it helps to put the snap ring back on so that it doesn't move around.
you start slightly beyond open and then you set up the racks so that they will move this way to provide a clockwise rotation. As you can see, it over traveled quite a bit. That's about one tooth too far. The quickest way to fix that is to bring it back to open, just disengage it, and then just retry it until you get just about here is where it should stop. There we go. And then it's just ever so slightly farther clockwise. It always takes me a few times to get that right. So then once we've got that where we want it, we have to put the end stop caps back before we bother setting the 